Okay, so today's topic is Kraken and Crack Analysis, but this time for Priestess Concrete Beam. So we will try to find out, ano ba yung difference ng analogy at methodology ng, uh, ng computation or calculation pagdating sa Priestess Concrete Beam at saka doon sa conventional na ginagawa uh, under Reinforced Concrete. Okay, so let's get ready to be neurorized. Okay, now this is the problem. So, this is the uh, cross-section okay, of our concrete beam. Okay. So, given that uh, we are going to use uh, 11 pieces of 9 over 16 inch okay, of a diameter stress relief, 7 wire strand, compressive, compressive strength of concrete effective as 27.5, grade 270, yung tendon niya, percentage loss is 3.22. The span of the simply supported beam is 10 meters. The dead load and the live load are 52.9 and 37.2 kN per meter respectively. Now, what are going to do is to perform the stress checks and determine the conditions for compression and tension for initial and final state. So, our end, end result uh, under this given question is for us to find out is the section fit for the, the loads that it will carry. So, is it okay for compression and tension? Tandaan po natin na kapag naglalagay po tayo ng tendon dahil mataas po yung kanyang uh, strength kasi grade 270 usually grade 260 yung ginagamit or 250 I mean grade 250 so there there is a possibility that the compression concrete may burst kapag so much force are applied to the tension side of concrete kasi di ba compression equals to tension so possibly mabibigyan yung burden sa compression concrete kapag masyado mataas yung resistance sa man nung tendon na ina-apply niya dun sa concrete. So, therefore, there's a need for us to do the stress checks. And usually, after this, din dun na po papasok yung full serviceability state condition ng checking uh, by, by observing the camber or the deflection na dapat ay pataas. That will be the, our next topic. Okay, how do we start? No? Usually, kasi we always start from the gross analysis. Okay? Uh, what we are going to do is parang ang gagawin natin dito is we start from the uncracked condition just like what uh, reinforced concrete design is doing. So, ito po yung magiging modeling natin. No? That is the material. So, what you are going to do is uh, wala muna sa ating computation uh, due to gross condition itong uh, image yung tendons. So, what you are going to see is only the the shape of the uh, cross-sectional area of concrete. Okay? Yan na po yung nakikita nyo dyan. And then we are going to, to calculate the gross inertia, the centroid, and the eccentricity E. Since E is dependent on the value of the bar Y as my illustration goes. Okay, using Varignon's theorem, so you can calculate that the area is 300,000 mm squared. What I did here is ibinawas ko na lang yung dalawang triangle at saka dalawang rectangle. Ayan. So, ito yung rectangle, dalawa, tapos ito naman yung triangle. Okay? So, if we are going to put this into a clear perspective, ito yung ginawa natin. So, I'll try to color it violet yung area. Okay? No ating rectangle na ibinawas. Ayan. Uh, as colored by violet. Okay, sige, let, let us try to 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 show the, the deductions of the area by by clear perspective. So okay, yun yung sinishadean ko ng violet, no? Yan yung rectangular portion. And the one that I will shade in uh, red is the area of the triangle. Okay? Yan. So kasi inassume ko muna na isa siyang buong uh, rectangle, buo. So, that's why you are going to arrive to that calculation and the area is 300,000 square millimeter. Now, followed by the bar y calculation, uh, what I did here is I get the uh, position at the bottom. So, that's why I arrived to this. Although, kahit saan ka maglagay, kahit sa top or sa bottom, we'll arrive the same answer. And we found out that bar y is 3,740 over 9 or roughly estimated 415.5556 millimeters. And then, 800 minus bar y 
is 3060 over 9 mm or roughly estimated 384.4444 mm. Now, now, this will be a uh, content of our next calculation, the inertia. So, gross inertia. So, ganun din. Papupuntay nyo lang lahat sa neutral axis. Okay? Ito yung neutral axis natin. Mark in red. Ayan. So, you'll get this gross inertia. 18,794.07407 times 10 to the 6. Note that this is under gross. No? Ibig sabihin, hindi pa natin kinukusinin yung doon. Kasi, nag-uncrack analysis pa lang naman tayo. Sa uncrack, kasi usually... Uh, gross condition as perceived by as perceived by the code NCP 2015. And uh, you are going to calculate E since you are already you already have the bar y. So E is just only the algebraic uh, difference of bar y and the declared distance of the tendons centroidal portion up to the uh, bottom of the concrete is uh, 2,165 over 9 or roughly estimated 240.5556 millimeters. Now, let's go back to the given. So, let us generate another uh, notes for this. Now, we are going to use 11, 9, 16 inch diameter. So, let's leave the 7 wire strand. FC prime, okay, it's 27.5 uh, as declared here at the top. And grade 270, that's around uh, 18, 1,860 megapascal. In our NECP, the loss is 3.22%, the span is 10 meters, and the dead load and the live load are specified. So, you will arrive to this summarization. Okay? So, FPU, ito yung grade 270 sa ating code. <coughs> okay, I want you to note that uh, I, I, I uh, store the values para kung kailangan natin mamis sa calculation, dito yung lipo pull out yung mga source data natin. Okay, as I check them one by one. Okay. Now, let's focus on the code. Now, there is a statement here that we are going to use 11, 9 over 16 inch diameter stress relief. No, the term is stress relief. Note that P is equal to APS times FES. And in the calculation of FES, there will be some requirement kapag lalo na pag hindi pretension yung ating um, material. Okay. So, therefore, we are to calculate no, yung ratio ng FPY over FPU. Ngayon, tingnan natin. The stress relief yan. Ano ba yung tatlong ito? Yan. So, ulitin ko lang, no, as discussed in the past uh, video lecture, uh, nilagay ko lang siya ulit dito that the 0.8 ratio of FPY over FPU where FPY is the yielding strength of the pre-stress tendons and FPU is the ultimate stress uh, on the tendons under pre-stress condition. So, the form bars for 0.8, stress relief for 0.85, and low relaxation for 0.9. So, therefore, we are going to use stress relief data of 0.85 as a ratio. So, yung gamma P, kasi ginagamit for a more detailed calculation that we cannot use right now since uh, there are some ano, uh, not, non -given, not given conditions. So, that I will try to understand on the next video lecture. Okay, so since uh, the given does not impose uh, post-tensioning, so walang sinabi sa given natin. Okay, uh, let me correct myself pala kanina. Nasabi ko yata pre-tensioning. No? It's post-tensioning. So please correct me for my statement earlier. Just just this uh, video lecture. So it is for post-tensioning, not pre-tensioning. So pag may term na post-tensioning, then you are going to use immediately the 0.7 of FPU. But sometimes, uh, due to the passcode, misang nirelate ito sa pang final state, ano? But for the code, eh, kung sa update lang naman, this will be now directed to the post-tensioning. Dati kasi marami-rami pa ito. Ngayon, na-trim down siya. I think it's on the NCP 2001 and NCP 2010, mas marami siya ang pan-checking. Okay, now it is now being simplified. Since there's no statement of post-tensioning, then this will activate during during stressing. So, therefore, we are going to use the 0.9 of FPY, the 0.8 of FPU, and kung may iba pang data na binigay, the maximum jacking force recommended by the supply, but we are not given by this, so therefore, we cannot use that. So, these two is the only equation, or the, are the only equations that we are going to use. Okay, the stress relief, we are going to use this ratio, as presented by the code, and this two, okay, 
Yung FPY, pinasok ko lang since FPY, okay, uh, pag in ko algebraically, that's only 0.85 of FPU. Tandaan po ninyo, ang given lang naman natin dito is the FPU kasi sa grade 270 na tendon reinforcement. So, therefore, after I uh, apply the F value of the FPU, <coughs> So, you will arrive this, no? At sinabi, don't use the least sa code. So, whichever is least among the two. Okay. Now, let's talk about the area of the pre-stressing tendons. We are given 11 pieces of 9 over 16 inch diameter. Where the 9 over 16 inch diameter is, all, uh, is, uh, is rounded 0.5625. So, that's equivalent to 0 0.5625. Uh, inch diameter in 9 over 16 and I think it will follow that it is grade 270 no? kasi ang grade 250 yan yung isa pa eh, no? so therefore for grade 270 or 1860 megapascal so that will be 0.563 inch diameter so we will use the 0.192 to, don't forget the unit as square inch po yan so that we will try to uh, convert later so then we will choose FPS of 1486.14 like pass because it is the least value among these two. Okay, choose the lesser value. And then applying that, so tandaan nyo po, 11 piraso na 0.192 square inch. And then, kinoconvert ko po siya sa millimeter shortcut. That's why there is 25.4 square kasi conversion of 1 inch into millimeter. And then the FPS... And then, converting it to new, uh, from newton to kilonewton. Kasi tandaan nyo, ang code natin, pag ang megapascal ang ginamit, newton and millimeter. So, and, ang end result nito is magiging newton. Now, para maging measurable, i-convert natin into a uh, kilonewton for, for a more desired comparison. Then, we will get the pre-stressing force of 2024.9816 kilonewton. So, ito na yung papasok na now, let's say, if you have this profile of tendon, kunyari, uh, parabolic, so yung, yung force of uh, P na papasok is all about initial, initial state, 2024.9816, na almost tolerable na yung slope niya. Okay? So, the test is too very small. So, we start from uh, by considering initial state. So, again, assumption may arise here. So, we always are, uh, we always assume from uncrack condition. Lagi yan nasisimulan. But, sa pag-assume ng uncrack condition, ang pinagkaiba ngayon ng reinforced concrete design at saka ng precess concrete design is meron kong dalawang class na i-assume. Unlike before, there's only one, no? yung F sub R, yung rupture modulus lang na hindi ka dapat tumaas sa 0.62 squared of FC prime. But here, there are two types, no? class yung class T. Pangalawa pa, dito, yung cracking moment natin dapat is more than Mmax. So, isa lang dyan na ma-violate, magiging, uh, magiging crack na yung condition. So, saan ba nang galing yung conditionist na yan? So, po natin na under the stable of our NECP, the uncrack and the transition, these are the condition. Okay? So, separate po si crack, may magkaiba po yan. Kasi yung class U and class C are both considering uncrack po, ano? It is uncrack. Sino po nagsabi niyan? Sabi na 424.5.2.2 class your class member says that services loads shall be permitted to be calculated using uncrack section. So, ibig sabihin, pag nag-fall under ka ng class your class D, totoo na nag-uncrack siya. Tandaan po ninyo yung dalawang kondisyon sa to. Pag nasatisfy yan, isa lang sa dalawang yan, well, you are under the calculation of uncrack to, to, to prove later after the stress check. So, we need to identify uh, the F sub T or the tension stress. So, hanapin natin mamaya by providing the combination of stresses. Okay? That is already discussed by the previous uh, video lecture using the concept of basic concept, uh, C-line method, and the load balancing method. We will just only adapt one uh, out of them since they will give us the same answer. So, we'll get the beam weight and the maximum moment since simply supported, you will get 7.062 kN per meter for the beam weight and the maximum moment is 88.29. So, alam nyo na ba't WABL squared over 8 kasi it is a simply supported case. So, the tip is WL squared over 8. Derivable ito the strength of materials and even 
theory of structures. Again, using basic concept method, you will get this uh, due to axial, due to piece resin bending, and due to load bending. So, I think I already discussed in the past video lecture, bakit uh, ganyan yung mga signs. So, if you miss it out, please, uh, may I refer you to the first three video lectures of uh, this uh, uh, playlist that is entitled uh, Pre-Stressing Using Basic Concept, Pre-Stressing Using C-Line Method, and Pre-Stressing Using Load Balancing. So, using basic concept, you will arrive to this stresses value. So, yan. So, in-indicate natin that negative is always compression, positive is always for tension para hindi na tayo malayo kung ano ina-analyze ng statics at strength of materials. So, pag negative means compression, going to the left tayo. Tandaan po ninyo. Okay? At kapag pagpapuntang kanan, ang drawing is positive tayo sa tension. Now, the viewers or the learners are highly advised to draw this in terms of the diagram that I already illustrated in one of my, in my past video lectures. So, please refer to the discussions as mentioned earlier. And then yung full description of my drawing. But for the meantime, since uh, I'm now referring to the stress check, so I will not perform that today. But I will assume that the viewers are, or learners are are curious of what will be the the diagram we look we look like. So I I, I will recommend them for, for I will recommend them to to draw the figure. No, madali lamang magdraw na figure. And again, pahabula po yung figure na, na I illustrate ko na do sa mapas video lecture. Same instruction lang naman. Now, adding all of the stresses, top and bottom, you will get at the top, nag-positive kasi, kaya nag-tension. And baba is nag-negative, sabihin, compression. So, that will be a separation. The superscript of FT, as explained before, that will represent top stress. So, but the, super, the subscript of T will represent tension based on any CP. Okay? So, therefore, ang F sub C, ang representation niya, compression stress. So, Getting the tension, so that will be 1.4085 megapascal. And for compression, automatic yan sa F sub C. So, no need for you to write T and C for the notation of F sub T. No, not, not the F superscript of T. Magkaiba po yun. And the F sub C. So, F super, superscript of T, siya yung positive 1.4085 megapascal na ilalagay nyo pa dapat ng tension. Pero si F sub T, minsan bihin, tension na siya sa NCP nomenclature, then no need for us to write the tension T dun sa baba. If you notice, wala. Wala akong nilagay dyan. Okay? <clears throat> now, upon getting these values, so what you will get is the comparison now. So how will you use those uh, values? Tandaan po natin, nag-assume po tayo ng uh, uncrack. Okay? The dalawang conditiones. So, tignan natin, ano ba yung point C to square root of FC prime? So, around 3.2513. And we found out that if F sub T is 0.4085 megapascal, meaning, kung i-drawing natin ito sa diagram, uh, nandito yung small tension niya, 1.4085, yung final stress diagram illustration, and ito, negative 15. So, ganyan po magiging illustration niya. Let's say, uh, ito yung neutral axis, okay? So, hindi po magzi-zero, you stress sa uh, neutral axis, no? So, talaga magkakaroon talaga ng an amount of tension. Now, as after we found out that F sub T is just less than point, uh, 62 of square root of FC prime, it looks like it is under class U. So, matas pa yung resistance niya. So, therefore, mangyari, it is true and crack. Kahit pa mag fall under pa yan dito sa class T, so, which is, ano pa rin siya, and crack condition. Next checking is to check if this is uh, really uncracked. So, we will check the cracking moment. Now, this is already derived, assuming the tension is up at the bottom. So, we will get this formulation. No? Derivable naman ito. Now, I, I uh, discuss here that it is the bottom stress equals sa rupture stress and yung tensile maximum. So, therefore, that will be the equation, no? the signs. Okay, I explain why it is negative, negative, positive. Nandun yan sa basic concept. Or pwede nyo gamitin load balancing and uh, C line. So, let's try to find out it's really crack and un, un, really an uncrack beam. And 
Okay, so by plugging all of the given, so makukuha po natin is 939.4407 kilonewton meter, which is our moment maximum as the M88.20. So malaki talaga yung capacity niya. So not to crack. So therefore, this is a true uh, uncracked beam. So one of those two is mag, mag fall under ng less than dito. Let's say ito nag less than, okay? Kahit dito nag, nag class yung ka pa, then it is a true crack moment. No? Crack beam na yan. So, isa sa dalawa lang ma-violate. Okay? Isa sa, lang, isa sa dalawang yan. Then, proceed ka na sa crack condition. However, we followed those two are as an assume, assumption. Eh, ito mama. Then, this is a true uncrack beam. Now, we will proceed to the analysis of the uncrack beam to assess uh, the adequacy of the section with regards to the load as a precessive force and also to the apply, applied loads. Balikan natin muna yung code na discuss natin in the past video lecture. Now, under initial, ito po yung mga condition sa initial. So, we will try to find out for compression, okay, and for tension. Okay, now let's start with the compression for 24.5.3.1. Now, so, initial ito, no, before, before the time-dependent precess losses. So, therefore, it is under all other locations kasi isa is end or of simply supported members, which is not, no. Nasa gitna tayo nag-analyze usually. So, gitna ang ina-analyze natin dito kasi andun yung maximum potential stress. So, therefore, we are going to use points of FC prime I. So, tandaan po natin that FC prime I may vary to FC prime if there's a given condition for losses of the concrete. Kasi usually, ako hindi po nag-loss, nag-gain pa nga ng value ng concrete. So, diyan po papasok isa sa mga topic natin yung pre losses na you will find out that as the... As the uh, time goes by, then the compression concrete increases. So, mag na F'CI F at saka F' of C. Okay? So, mag na po sila. And then, for tension, uh, we will choose the all, all other locations again. So, we'll use the 0.25 square of FC prime I. Tandaan po natin na uh, under 424.5.3.2.1, the limits in the table as the previous for tension uh, shall be permitted, the term shall be permitted to be exceeded. Note that you have to comment that you have to add additional, you have to put additional banded reinforcement in the tension zone to resist the total tensile force kasi hindi po pwede na mas malit kasi usually kulang naman siya to resist the tension force. So, wala nang, walang function kung baga yung maging tension. So, uh, it is best to add some banded reinforcement. Okay? As, as described here, but using the assumption of an uncracked section, mali na po yan. We found out that F sub T is more than 0.25 square root of FC prime. Ang FC prime natin is 27.5. Since wala pang sinabi na kung isa ilang years nag-deteriorate ang concrete, okay, or or yung yung factor na pwede natin apply to to the sep to the separation of F prime C I or the FC prime, eh, i-assume natin that the F prime C or FC prime is equal to the F prime of C I. Okay, equal mo na sila. Then, we found out that it is more than the the acceptable for tension. But again, sabi na code kanina, you just comment for, you have to provide additional banded reinforcement. So actually, ito na yung sagot do sa isang tanong. Okay? So, paano pag hindi yan nag more than, nag less than? Sabi, na-abide natin yung resistance ng, ng tension. So far, kapag ganito, let's say, uh, constant case, square root of FC prime I, so for tension, that will become okay. Okay? Okay lang yung comment natin dyan, or adequate. And check for compression, since na-abide natin yung less than, then mas maliit pa yung F sub C, na 15.5684 sa 0.6 of F C per 16.5, then the comment is okay. So, so far, sa initial state niya na nag-uncrack nag condition, so, we, the, the compression stress is okay, but in the tension stress, we need to provide additional banded reinforcement. Sa yung sagot sa initial state condition. So, I hope it's clear to the viewers or to the learners. Now, we move on to the final state, where the loads will now be added. Tandaan po natin na ito po yung mga values natin, no? Initially. Now, we need to consider the final state, and to provide that, so, kailangan natin makuha yung total load, 
Add na natin yung dead load at saka yung live load kasi kasama na yan. So, it will be a total load, no? Hindi ito magiging sustained load. Kasi in the given, hindi na mention kung anong particular uh, value ng live load na pinati i-consider for, for uh, sustained condition. So, meaning, uh, the problem assumes directly that the dead load in the live should be utilized then the condition will be sust uh, uh, will be total load, no? Sustained load, sinasabi naman ng problem yan. Usually, sabi nga sa inyo, the live can be part of the sustained load. Hindi lang po usually dead load ang nagiging sustained or the beam weight. So, usually, pwede tayong kumuha ng 0.25 or one fourth of a live load. So, but it is dependent on the problem. But in actual practice, we are going to use the one fourth case so that we can uh, have a good factor of safety in our design. And uh, finally, we will get the final processing force since we are given with the loss. So, kaya nakuha natin yung PF of 1959.772 kN, also the maximum moment under total, WTL squared over 8, as that value. Again, we start from the assumption of class U or class C, e, and MCR should be more than M uh, MT max. Isa lang yan, hindi magsatisfy, then it is under crack condition. So, yan, napalitan na po natin yung tatlong value, so you have to monitor those values for plugging. Uh, into the equation. Okay? Since same lang din naman yung gross inertia, di naman nagbabago yan kapag uncrack ang beam. So, we'll use the same data and also the E. So, you'll get these three. Okay? So, using basic concept method. And then, checking the uh, F superscript of T and then the F subscript of B. So, with a proper sign, then we'll get I have sub superscript of T is negative, meaning compression. Okay? Kaya importante sinasabi yung compression. And positive. Okay? Na 9.889.82 megapascal. So, tension. Okay. So, therefore, ang F sub, F sub T natin ay yung tension. Yung 9.8982. Yung bottom. Ibig sabihin. And compression is the upper is 21.7 333 megapascal. So, no need for you to write the T and the C no magnitude. Kasi automatic F sub T is tension and F sub C is compression. Now, is this uh, under crack or uncrack? Tina natin. Okay. Now, we found out that F T is more than square root of F C prime pa lang. So, tandaan po natin, sa, hindi ka pwede lumagpas ng class T. So, yung class C kasi natin, ang limiting boundary niya is square root of FC prime. At tandaan po ninyo, ang class C or class C na, or crack is dapat more than square root of FC prime as the uh, table suggests earlier na, na produce natin no, from the NCP 2015. So, but here, it is more than, so it is class C, but here, we assume for uncrack, so therefore, the assumption is not okay. So, the, we need to calculate again this uh, cross-sectional area, but this time, the tendons will take effect. Parang reinforced concrete design ito. So, pati Nintendo sa gagalaw na do sa analysis natin. So far, for final state, this will not be a, an uncracked condition. So, we will try to prove that this is a true class C. Okay. So, ito yung magiging tsura niya. Yung tendons, pinalitan natin ng uh, modular value. So, bakit may N-1? Tandaan po natin sa reinforced concrete design, uh, NAS lang yan, di ba? But, Kasi ina-assume ng concrete design intention is hindi na ina-analyze for, for crack condition. But for pre-stress, kailangan po pati yung tension of concrete. Pati ito, yan, isasama natin yung concrete tension. So, may na-displace kang butas dyan. So, same area, kaya N-1. Okay? And then, the, the same condition. I put no magnitude of X at the both at the top para ba iba naman yung sign convention. Tsaka para magparehas naman sila kahit paano ng reinforced concrete design sa pag-assume ng letter. So, I think this is also the same approach in the past uh, discussion na nagawa ko sa reinforced concrete design found on my playlist. On a separate playlist. And of course, E is dependent. Equals 800 minus X minus 175 lang yan. So, we need to calculate modular ratio. We found that 7.9929. Tandaan po natin yung N should be always rounded up ito. Okay? Rounded up. Kaya kung saan po natin, nakakuha tayo ng N. Ng value is uh, 8.2. Ang N muna, gawin mo ng 9. Hindi po pwedeng 8 muna. So, therefore, uh, it is being uh, rounded up. 
kahit 7.03, uh, gawin mo muna ang 8. Okay? So, eight, la, la, paging patasyo round ang whole number. Okay? Now, you will get this, uh, 9538.054 mm squared. So, tanda po natin, isab is, ha, ng, ng, ng uh, strand is 197,000 megapascal, ha? Hindi 200,000. No, as discussed in my past video lecture. Then, I have to assume X is more than 300 para, kasi may cut dito, di ba? Pero kasi pumunta dito yung X, eh. So, therefore, another separate calculation. So, for the meantime, ina-assume ko muna na yung X natin is more than the cut of triangle para may linearity or consistency ng width, okay? Otherwise, dito nagputo, may dalawang similar triangle tayong kukunin dyan. Okay? Then, using this, uh, I put the uh, axis in question to sa top naman. Dito na lang ako nag-moment. Okay? Tandaan po, hindi po tayo pwede mag-take ng moment sa neutral axis, katulad ng ginagawa sa, new, sa RCD na diyan kumukuha. Since you found out, yung mga stresses kasi ng pre-stress concrete is hindi nagsizero sa neutral axis. Tandaan nyo, kanina parang gumanito siya. Okay? So, therefore, hindi ito zero yung neutral axis position. So, there's no way for you to use the same concept of RCD na pinapupunta mo ng neutral axis yung uh, finding uh, uh, the variable X kasi zero ang neutral axis stress. Pero dito, sa crisis concrete beam, it's not. Okay, that's why the conventional way will apply. So, therefore, this one or top on bottom. Okay? But I'll choose the top kasi andun na yung distance of X. That's why, the total area will be the area of concrete, 300,000 mega, 300,000 millimeters squared, plus the area of the tendons, n minus 1 APS, and then there's a separate analogy. Of course, you have to add the tendon. Then you will get 391.8569 mm, but it's more than 300 mm, so assumption natin, di ba, more than, so therefore, this is okay, so it satisfies the assumption. Pag nag less than 300, you say, nakuha mo, uh, 285, so then dito siya. Okay? Nandiyan siya. So, magre-recalculate ka ng value ng x. And then, finally, completing, we'll get 800 minus x and e of 233.1431 mm. Okay? Okay, so we have already obtained the uh, value of the eccentricity e. So, then we follow the computation of the crack moment of inertia or sometimes called to be uh, also known as, I mean, also known as the critical moment of inertia. So, by following the said provision, and note that uh, in the equation of Ix equals I bar x plus AD squared, okay, makikita nyo may nadagdag dito na yung bakal, syempre. May participation si n minus 1 quantity times a, P, a sub ps. But notice that I bar x is not existing for that particular step since napaka nipis po niyan. Okay? So, sa sobrang nipis yan, na cross-sectional area niya, uh, zero na yung kanyang centroidal moment of inertia. So, therefore, nag-exist lang yung transfer of inertia. Okay? Yung AD squared mismo. That's why the distance is 2033.1431 raised to 2. And then, we will arrive to a value of 19,329.00503 times 10 to the 6 millimeters to the 4. So, ito ni papalit na inertia na Kasi hindi na gross, of iner, hindi na gross inertia yung nage-exist. Okay, so using uh, basic concept method, notice in due to axial, uh, area resides as is, that is the gross amount of area. So it is not the area when you add the uh, gross concrete area plus the area of the steel since our main concern in the actual force is the compression alone and compression felt by the concrete itself. So therefore, area is the same as the gross area when you divide it even, uh, to divide it by the final precessive force even if the, uh, the concrete is under crack. Okay? So due to pre-stressing, okay, you should not uh, be equating that pagdating dito sa denominator. Okay? Area sa gross area pa rin. And yun nga na, nagbago naman dito yung yung gross area o gross moment of inertia into a uh, crack moment of inertia. Okay? And then, of course, uh, the numeratiture X based on their location. Okay? Kung saan natagpuan yung kanyang distances.
Okay, upon adding up from the top and bottom, we will get from the top stress as negative 21.892 megapascal, which is a compression, while the bottom stress, we will get positive 9.4652 megapascal as tension. And then, kakapture din ang F sub T or tension force, si tension. So, no need for it to write T as the, uh, the condition of the stress, while F sub C is already compression. So, it will adapt the 21.892, yung top stress. Okay? So, with these two, we will now check if this is adequate or inadequate when it comes to stress review or stress checks. So, check in natin kung talagang klase yan, no? Since F sub T is more than square root of F C prime, then we have proven that uh, it is under class C. So, so far, it satisfies the correct condition. So, wala tayong problema na ito ay uh, uh, crack. Okay, but this time, let us prove na talagang crack if M sub C R should be more than M T max. So, by plugging in under gross condition po yan, yung given na value natin kayo ng gross inertia at saka yung value ng uh, Y sub T na T740 over 9. Kasi we found out that the, the tension portion is the bottom and uh, yung, yung mismo condition is natin is yung sa E is 2165 over 9 and then by, by plugging all of them, then you will get 913.9256 uh, kilonewton meter which is uh, we have the maximum moment of 1214.54 which is less than then it is really under crack condition. So therefore, the statement is true for crack. Okay? Now let us check if this is adequate or not. Now, we have to remember that under 424.5, 4.1, so we have the term total load. As mentioned earlier, since hindi naman sinabi participation ng live load, kung ilang percent yung i-adapt para may consider na sustained load or hindi sinabi ng problem under sustained. So, therefore, the default is total load since we are to consider all of the possible loads. So, therefore, that will be our consideration. So, therefore, 0.6 of FC prime I will be our base limit. However, uh, as we check, ano, ano nangyari dito? It is more than the capacity to resist compression stress. Ibig sabihin, sumobrang lakas yung tension stress natin at lumakas din syempre yung ating compression concrete kasi don't forget that sigma C is equal to sigma T at mataas yung stress tendons. No? So therefore, as you increase T, then therefore, we will get an increased value of C. So therefore, so it's either sumobrang dami yung ating tendons or masyadong mataas yung yung stress grade or maybe uh, masyadong malaki lang yung diameter na ginamit natin. Uh, ito yung sa mga potential solution to make it lesser do sa ating pinili na 9 over 16 kung ito ay design. But we are just only doing the investigation then it is just only uh, to arrive to a conclusion if this is adequate or inadequate or simply say not okay or okay. So those are some potential solution if this is a design problem. So, since this is an investigation, then we found out it is not okay so because it, it surpasses the capacity under compression stress. So, therefore, uh, the cross-sectional area is unsafe for uh, under total condition or for final state. So, therefore, remedies like decreasing of the diameter is one of the main options or possibly you can pass, uh, increase the the cross-sectional area if you are doing design. But for investigation, you don't have uh, you, don't, you don't have to do anything, just comment. Ano? So for, for this way, uh, for initial state, we just only have to provide additional bonded reinforcement. Uh, but so far, it's okay. And for final state, it seems that it's not okay. So therefore, recommendation for redesign is uh, to be considered. So, ganyan po tayo mag-analyze ng crack and uncrack analysis for precess concrete beam. Okay, I hope you learned something new today in as our tradition. You have been neuralized and see you in our next video lecture.